Welcome back YouTube. Thank you for tuning in. Today I'll be doing an updated video on how I make my candles. I'm going to make three different flavors, scented candles. The first one I will be doing is the lavender. I have these half pint jars here and I have my 10 pound bag of soy wax. What I do I use a measuring cup. I use a cup. You need a double boiler. This pot has water in it. This is for candle making. I got this off of Amazon. And to fill these half pints, one half pint, you need about two cups of your wax. And let that melt down. While that's melting down, you want to get your jars ready. I got these candle wick stickers. You want to stick your um, wicks. If not, you can wait till your soy wax melt down. If you watch my previous video, and you can you put dip your candle wick into the wax and place it in a jar and. It'll work just as just as good. But these are stickers that you just um, peel off and stick to the bottom of your jar and place the wick to center it. And it doesn't have to be on there perfect. You just want to put it in the middle of your jar. What I use is a little straw. Feed the wick through the straw. And you just center it into place and the straw will just help it stick. The wick, I'm gonna leave a little long right now and you will cut that at towards the end, like once your candle is dry. I usually wait overnight to cut the wick. I'll leave it open and let it dry and then by the morning I'll cut it and then close it up. These jars comes with lids, so you, if you're making scented candles, you close it up and you'll wait two weeks. The two week process to make the scent combine to everything and it will smell better. You can still use your candle if you want right away after it's dry, but if you want that scent to burn, you'll wait two weeks. So while this is melting down, I'm going to get my lavender fragrance oil. And I use for these half pint glass jars I use one fourth cup on every candle some may say that's probably a lot of fragrance oil for a candle but if you want yours to smell like you can smell it. I use one fourth cup for th that size jar. So I'm going 
to let this melt a little bit more and I'll be back okay I'm back is now melted down the wax and in the process you want to if you want a color for your candles I use Crayola crowns I got these two like purplish colors since I'm doing lavender and I have another two for the other candle because I'm making two of these lavender candles right now all you want to do is I just break them in half and toss them in and let that melt down and that's going to give you your color You can use something to stir it with. I use just a butter knife because I don't want to mess up any of my utensils while doing this process. So I just use the butter knife. I have like two butter knives just in case if I'm doing like two separate fragrances or two separate candles at one time. And I just leave all this stuff to the side so once I'm finished I clean everything up and just redo it again Just let that sit for one minute to make sure the candle chunks are melted down in there. to reduce the heat if you could see around in there you can tell if there's any candle chunks but I don't see any so we're gonna take it off the fire for now What I used to do was see how hot it was to pour the, um, the fragrance in there. But what I learned is right after you take it off the fire and you just put your oils in, your fragrance in, and just stir it up and you start pouring slowly into your jars. And it does not have no kind of effect if you sit there and wait for it to be like a certain temperature. I noticed because I had, my previous video was my first time making the candles. Now I've been making candles since then. You know when you do something for a while you get better at it so then you just want to pour into your jar and hold on okay what I forgot to do was get the wick holder you want to have that so your wick can still be in the center of your candle while it's drying. 
So that part, you don't cut until it dries. So I'll wait till tomorrow morning and I'll take the wick holder off and then cut it and then I'll place the lid on there. Here's a few other candles that I made. This one is a pink berry mimosa. Then we have the blueberry cheesecake. I put this one in. tropical fruit and these two are still the blueberry without the sprinkles um, I might end up putting these on eBay I'm not for sure if I would add these candles to the website just yet because I I don't know if I really want to do the candles but I might put some on eBay okay guys welcome back to the video this is a continuation of the candle making that I did. This case right here is for a customer. We got the baby powder candle, the lemongrass, the vanilla, and lavender candles. I'm about to put the warning stickers at the bottom. These candles will be ready um, July 31st. Remember I said, if you let it sit for two weeks, the scent will become stronger. So that's what I did. So by July 31st, it would have been two weeks since I made these candles. And they'll be ready to sell for the, to the customer. Okay, here is the warning labels for the bottom. I put them on all the candles and they are now ready. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel.